Hey there everybody, this is Spiraling Helix. Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. Last time we explored the rest of Port Prisma. And I did forget one thing, but this time we are going to make our way through the Indigo Underground. Now the one thing I did forget in the last episode was to speak to the Cafe Toad in Ruddy Road. Which isn't Port Prisma, but relates to the Cafe Toad in Port Prisma. But I think for now, let's save that for a later episode, as we head straight into this level. And, okay, seems pretty easy. We're not quite underground, but that's okay. Let's head down. And, um, that, that's no good. Let's pull you out. Hey, cut it out! Don't pull so hard, you're gonna tear my legs off! Can't you find another way to get me out of here? With some sort of suction device or something? I don't care what you have to do, just unclog this stupid pipe! Um, okay, well I'm gonna listen to his words and cut it out. Yes, if you see a nice perfect rectangle that is quite big like this, you can usually cut it out and place any card in its spot. Now you will need to paint this card whenever you put it in, and Huey's telling me exactly how this works. But just for reference sake, you only ever put thin cards in here, as far as I can remember. And of course, we are going to use the thing we got in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you watched that plunger before using it on me. Sorry, I thought my training prepared me for this. Anyway, I'm the leader of the Green Rescue Squad. Pleased to meet you. We received reports of trouble deep in the Indigo Underground, so we rushed here as quickly as we could. But we got ambushed as soon as we arrived, and my six squad members were all separated. It was bad. We got flattened, creased, folded, crinkled, ripped, torn, you name it. I got stuffed in this pipe like a little green spitball, and I'm the leader! This might come as a shock, but I need you to rescue my six squaddies. So, the rescue squad needs to be rescued? This happens to you a lot, huh, Mario? But if the mini paint star led us here, there must be another paint star in this cave. Let's go check it out. Sure thing, let's dive right in, second time's the charm. Maybe it isn't the charm. Okay, well, we have a very simple shy guy. So I'm just gonna use a very simple worn-out jump to take care of him. And I'm gonna bounce, because I think that kills it. Yeah, okay. Can never remember that. And, okay, thanks for the useless fight game. That was one of the guys who attacked us. There's more inside. Be careful. I'm going to go on ahead. I've got to get to the rendezvous point. Point? Point? Did I say print or point? I have no idea what I said at this point. Oh well. That time's the charm, let's go! Also, that leader knew there was an enemy there. Anyway, welcome to Indigo Underground! A place with many shy guys and... Yep! Oh, he stopped throwing it. There we go. I will save you. Um... Okay. Hammer! D uh, d uh, okay, it's fast. Eat. Hammer! And let's just do it again. They crumpled me up without a second thought, like I was just some fast food receipt. Toad number one of the Green Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Now, if you excuse, uh, excuse me, now if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain's location immediately. Now we're going to hear those two lines quite a bit. But these shy guys aren't going to be happy now. We've rescued one member of the scattered rescue squad. Five more to go. And I'm going to take care of these enemies for you. There we go. Both of them go down in the one battle. But the reason why I took care of them is basically so I could colour in these spots. And we have a new card. That one will be very helpful against a certain enemy in this level too. So 
quite a good spot for that to appear. Again. Oh my goodness, stop giving them to me. I don't want this many cards. I'm not going to... I don't typically use the spike helmet too often. That said, it is a nice defensive card that you can use on your turn because we have two card slots now. I'm just going to paint that. And no, I need the cards. Okay, I'll get the platform when it's going back. Uh, oh! Show off a new enemy then. Three of them, in fact. So, let's show off a new enemy with a brand new card. The Spike Helmet. Notice how I'm not using any other cards? Well, the Spike Helmet is a nice defensive move. If an enemy attacks from above, you can press the A button to spike into them, dealing a whole lot of damage. If they attack from above, you might not even need to spike them, but it's more damage if you do so. However, if an enemy attacks from in front, like a shy guy, it will do absolutely nothing. So you have been warned. Nice max paint up though, gotta say. So now let's not miss this jump again. They're pretty easy to miss. Is, is that a paint colorless spot? No, it is not. Anyway, let's save you. Get out of here, Mario. Don't talk to me. I'm standing sideways so that swoop up there can't see me. Uh, no! Stop standing st- Please, don't. Dude, bro, stop hitting me. I'm hiding from that swoop. Also, just don't hit people, like, in general. Hmm, he does have a point about- Oh, no, wait, I meant to- T Kill the swoop, kill the swoop! Swoop, come here, swoop. There we go. That is a very good life lesson, actually, though. Don't hit people. I should learn from that. I'm not that mean to people, but I should still learn from that. Anyway, I'm going to demonstrate for no reason whatsoever that hammer cards can still be used on flying enemies. But only if they are low. You might notice some flying enemies tend to be higher up. So be careful about that. Mario, don't talk to Oh yeah, the swoop's gone. My tactic worked. And yes, we know you are toad number two. Um, thanks for the running list, Huey. Anyway, you can jump up here and not quite skip this spot. That's annoying. Two colors to paint that in. And waiting. There's a fair bit of waiting in this level. I'm not the biggest fan of how this level works. Also, keep an eye out for the spots on the ground like that. That can be very hard to s I thought he goes up before that. So, um, that's a good example. A hammer will hit the first swoop. It will not hit the second one, though. Now, I think I'm just gonna leave the battle there, though, because you've already seen this. There we go. Now he won't be staying in our way. I did all of that for a piece of blue paint. No, uh, I, um, I'm gonna... I'll take that. I'm fine with that. Anyway, in here we have a nice hidden spot with a... That probably didn't save any time, actually. But I made it. That's what counts. Okay. I'm trying really hard not to miss any spots because that's impossible to see on the ground in this first section. But I think I got them all. Okay, gotta say, as much as I might not like this level in particular, the music is amazing. I haven't heard a better official version of this song. I say official because there's probably some pretty killer remixes out there. But we have a new enemy! And I don't think I'm gonna fight this one because there's another one literally right down here. Okay, so this enemy here is a Buzzy Beetle. It's basically a Cooper Trooper in a cave. So I'm not even gonna 
bother with this fight because I don't have to. And I win! Perfect. Now, in saying that they're basically a Koopa Troopa, I do believe they have a bit more health, but again, it's pr you're probably just gonna jump on them to get them away instantly. And dodging them is a bit of an issue when you're in these tighter areas, though. Anyway, um, come over here. Thank you. That seems to be the rendezvous point up there, but we don't even have three, four of the toads? However many... <laughs> there we... <gasps> <laughs> yes! The Buzzy Beetle card is the exact same as a Koopa card, but it's a Buzzy Beetle, so it might take a bit more damage before dying. I'm not sure about that, but hey, isn't it? I knew that was going to happen. The point I'm trying to make, though, is that I'm probably not gonna, going to show it off because we've basically seen something like it already. And I'm just going to use these two already coloured in worn-out hammers because I don't need any worn-out cards. Game. Seriously, they suck. I mean, I guess they're good for the enemies now. And by they're good, I mean everything's good. But I just don't want them, game. Thank you. And heading along down here, we have a block. But right next to that block is another block. And another block. Hitting those two blocks is just coins. But that'll let us easily hit that block up there from above. And can I make this jump? <gasps> That's very hard to do, guys. That is very hard to do. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did that. And I think I'm just gonna rush through this level from now on. I don't, I don't want to split this level in half. Um, we removed the tape. You can come down now, if you want to. Thanks, mate. Oh, gross! My face is all sticky from that tape. I'm gonna go wash my face off. Well, not wash my face off. That would be horrifying. Toad number three of the Green Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain's location immediately. Just three more left, and would you look at that? There's another one right over here. So let's hit him. Oh, first try. Except we have to deal with all the shy guys anyway. If you miss, you just deal with one shy guy at a time, and eight Shy Guys, huh? I think that's this calls for... No, I'm not using that buzzy... I have two Cooper cards. What am I doing? I'll use the Cooper card, because I have two of them. Let's go. Cooper Trooper! This should just kill all of them in one glorious move. Let's go. Oh yes, glorious. Paint fireworks off in the display and whoa, lots of coins! Uh, Fire Flower and Ice Flower both is pretty good too. Mario behind you! Is what I was gonna say, but it kind of froze up. My bad. Toad number four. Two remain guys. And look at that, it's a red Shy Guy card. And do we have a red? No, we got a yellow one, didn't we? Yes, the red Shy Guy is new. And I don't need to show it off because I've already shown off the Shy Guy and all the Shy Guys of that variant are the same. That variant being the plain variant. Where's my music gone? Um, well how about we use cutout? This took me forever to find out, but you can use cutout here. Literally cut out this waterfall to get to toad number five. The music's still gone though, so I don't, well, maybe not right now, but I don't feel too comfortable. Anyway, here we go. This poor toad is being terrorized by the shy guy. Let's kill him. Oh yeah, nice, I guess. I just saved your life, toad. How are you going to repay that debt? Mm. What's gonna happen? Anyway, let's just use a worn out hammer on him. And wait, I actually need to time the hammer. Wait. Okay, good. I was like, 
I'm used to jumps where I can literally do nothing because it'll kill him, but the hammer I need to time. Huh? Where am I? I was sure I'd meet my end behind that waterfall. I'd about given up. Hey, you'd tell me if I were a ghost, right? Toad number five! One more. And it is beginning to get a bit spooky. No music. That toad hiding behind a waterfall. There's always something behind a waterfall in a video game, guys. Just saying. Still no music, though. Let's go onwards. And, oh, oh my goodness, please. Thank you. That was so hard. Okay. Nothing bad yet. Do not destroy these brick blocks if you can help us. Um... Okay, oh, we sweep, 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 sweep card. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can find enemy cards outside of getting them from battles. I'll try and show off all the ones I know of at least. I'm pretty sure that's most of them. But up here. enemy is totally creepy just saying he might just be a piece of paper but oh man that is one creepy piece of paper anyway jumps and hammers do nothing so don't use the jump or hammer I believe that's how this enemy works but a fire flower the oh my goodness I painted that fire flower in and that was a lot of pain a fire flower ice flower of which we've got many in this level even turns them into ash Easy fights. Now, that is actually a new enemy, and we will see that enemy sometimes throughout the game. That's not the only one. But oh man, it's pretty annoying the first time, so yeah, you're welcome for letting you know that. I can't remember anything. My mind's a blank sheet of... But I do remember one thing. Toad number six of the Green Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain's location immediately. Oh, I also remember this. Take it, it might come in handy. You got 1-Up Mushroom! The 1-Up Mushroom card is a bit like the normal... Boom! Sorry, I had to say boom. It's a bit like the normal mushroom card, but instead of healing up your health, it will heal up your paint. To its maximum potential. Ugh. Potential. I think I burped there, and that was disgusting. But oh well. Anyway, the music is back, which is very nice. There are also some swoops down there. They were not there before. Jumping down here, though, lets me grab the swoop card. I didn't hit that block. Oh! Speed run time. that for a bit of health. Right, I'm gonna go get the color spot now. Okay, I made it. I'm coloring it in. When you hammer the walls, the swoops come flying down. But if you don't hammer, you're all good. I was also on the edge, but you should be able to outrun them. Careful on your way back as some soggy guys like to jump out on you. Um, I recommend just holding forward there, so running towards the waterfalls. But we have all six rescue squad toad members. So let's return to the rendezvous point. I can still make this episode not too long. Come on, please hurry up. No, no, no. Okay, here we go. Okay, if you want to see any of them, you can pause them because I don't have time for this. Roll call! One, two, three, four, five, six. And I remain seven, all present and accounted for. 
Green Rescue Squad, commence Operation Toad Bridge! All units to your positions! Mission accomplished! Uh, cool! Thank you, Mario. You rescued us even though we should be the ones doing the rescuing. Feel free to walk on us as hard as you want. Really go to town. I'm serious. Our bond is stronger than any waste. No way we'll, we will collapse. We'll see about that. We have a one last required battle. And the spike helmet sh guy. Red the red spike guy. I actually have a new card to show off for you guys too. The swoop. So let's show off the swoop. And that's probably not going to do anything against the spike guy. But oh well. The spike guys, I didn't really talk about them too much back in Ruddy Road. But basically, just like enemies attacking you, don't jump on the spike guy. Or that will happen. But hammers are all good. And wow, thanks for being so close to each other. I reckon one excellent might have taken them all out. Pretty easy fight with hammer. The hammer scrap. No! Talk. We have got blood about my bros! Contact! Squaddy number three's nose has been invaded by water, requesting backup. Now, if we give him a good old yank, I legit thought that you have to run down to the bridge and jump up from underneath, and I spent, like, too long. Guys, too long. I left this. I was here for hours. I left the level and came back. I didn't know what to do. All you have to do is give him a good yank. Mario, our debts to you are really starting to stack up. Squaddy number three, sit trap. My sinuses are on fire, sir, but I'll be okay. It'll take more than a physical force to break our bond of unity. All right, Mario, please proceed. Thank you very much. Oh, so much. Darn it, I was so close. And if you see above us right here, also, depending on what side you peel this tape on, you will duck out of the way like that. I guess you really need to be on the edge. But above us, there is an optional cutout. Don't miss it. What does it contain for us, though? It contains... A hop slipper, yay! And an eek hammer, which is a new item! Battle card! Which... You can probably guess what it does, actually. It's basically the hop slipper for... There we go, don't... <laughs> well, with that, we get a new cut, the line jump. The line jump is a very unique jumping card, in fact. And I will be sure to show it off when we reach a big group of Shy Guys. As you can guess, you jump down the line. So think a multi-jump, but all in one. Now, I am running right past that yellow paint star because down here... We do have a thing that I would kind of like to grab. And also a couple more colorless spots. But let's get the thing first. Okay, I'm gonna use the Eek Hammer. And I think... I will use a hop slipper too, just because we got them both right now, and they are both awesome. No. Okay, Eek Hammers are pretty terrible. No shock waves, multiple hits, but they do more damage the more successive you get. You don't need to time it towards a great or an excellent. You can pretty much time it, so as long as you're not mashing. And focus, please. Okay, as long as you don't mash it too quickly. You can hit it on a nice, and it still does the same amount of damage, I think. Or at least the difference is so small, you're only gonna notice it on a boss. Eek hammers are actually 
quite helpful though. You can get an excellent amount of damage from a hammer attack without needing to hit an excellent. And getting excellent on hammers are hard, but squee! This is I'm a bit late on that. You got lemon! Adds a little zest to any meal. Not that I care, because we got lemon! Anyway, down here, if we check this spot, oh, we have another mini paint star. And blue has been the color that took us here. So I think let's leave it on a blue. And then once we see the map, I'm gonna cut right back to grabbing that yellow one, just so you can see where that takes us. Okay, surprise, surprise, it leads us to Blue Bay Beach. No shock there. That is where we will head. Next episode, where I have, I have mail. I have mail. I have mail. I don't know what that mail is, but I'm going to assume it is from the ringer. Anyway, see you at the Yellow Paint Star. <laughs> you know what I haven't showed off in battles? Running away. You can hold the ZR button on the gamepad, or that's probably other buttons that do it too. But you can also hold down the button on the gamepad. That was a very effective turn. Basically, when running away, you have a chance of avoiding the fight entirely. Like so, the enemies just disappear. There's no, they're still here, but you have these invincibility frames. They're just gone. Never to be seen again. Also, the spike helmets, as you can probably guess from me getting it from that question mark block, they do not come <laughs> colorless. Right, yellow paint star. See you. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. Here we go. I've oh my, I hit the darn. Thank you. Course clear. Yes. That's probably one of my least favorite courses. And it was actually a pretty darn good course. Quite inventive still. And great music. But with that, guys. The yellow mini paint star takes us to a new destination. Two levels that we need to go check out. Both of which are very important for us to do as well. But next time I think we will prioritize the blue paint stars and go to Blue Bay Beach. As that has been available for a bit of time. Anyway, with that guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you guys next time, everybody. Bye-bye.